Hey guys, welcome back to Clink. My name's Harry, and today I'm going to show you how to make a margarita. Now, a margarita has a very scattered history. Um, being such a popular drink, there's very uh, many variations of where that drink came from. A lot of people have claimed to have invented it. The most well-known story is um, a man by the name of Carlos Herrera, if I can pronounce that right, who um, in his restaurant in uh, the Tijuana area, which is on the border of Mexico and California, he said it's claimed that he invented it in 1938 to the version of the drink that we know today. It hasn't really changed. Um, it's pretty much the ingredients of tequila, Cointreau, which we're using today, or triple sec, and lime juice. Really simple, so popular, with, and it's so simple, so simple to make at home. Um, there's three ways, popular ways of making it. It's either straight up, on the rocks or frozen or blended, you know, so like with ice. Um, we're going to make a on the rocks version. Pretty much apart from a blended one, I think it's got a bit, a bit of a variation of um, quantity of ingredients. But with the uh, with the on the rocks and straight up, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's just whether or not you're going to want it slightly diluted or chilled as you drink it, which is what I want. So um, I'm going to basically crack on the start. This one here, we're going to start by prepping the glass, and we're not going to chill it. I don't want to chill it because. Well, I don't want to. Um, I want to garnish it already. So the first thing I'm going to do, grab a lime, cut it in half, because we'll use that for the garnish later, and we just want to rim it. Rim the glass with some lime juice. Not too much, because you don't want it to be messy. I should do. And then we want to carefully, maybe shake it off just in case, we we'll just carefully dip it in some salt. If you don't want it, too salty if you just want maybe just do the half of the rim. Some some bars do that. Um, because a lot of people don't like some people don't like salt and if if the customer hasn't specified it's always good to just you know cover all your bases. But there we go. So you can see that's nicely prepared and salted. So I'm just gonna put that to one side and we'll get our oh, shake already. Take that one down. Um, I've got my lime juice here, so uh, it's pretty. It's three ingredients, very simple. I'm going to do 30 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice, in like so, and then we'll do 20 ml of Cointreau. So you kind of have to eyeball it with this one, because I've got a 15 and 30 pour, so I'll do 15, and then just a about five. Might be a bit more than five. That's fine. Cool. And then, last but not least, definitely not least, tequila. We got a reposada tequila. Anyone who's watched the um, El Diablo video knows that reposado means it's been aged for a minimum of two months to a year, I believe. From what I remember. Yeah, so this is 40 mils. Sorry. So I've done 30 and 10 in there like that. Some people add uh, sugar to sort of maybe balance it out. Um, I don't think that's right. Um, I think that's a bit, you shouldn't really need it. It's already well balanced. Um, or maybe an agave syrup to bring out that sort of agave flavors from the uh, tequila as well as um, sweetening up. Just gonna chuck in some ice for there. There we go. Fill that with ice, on the side, and give it a good shake. Perfect. Nice and frosty. Lovely. So, if we were going to do this straight up, what I would do is I would double strain it. So I'd obviously use my Hawthorne strainer, but also a tea strainer just like this just to catch those little shards of, of ice that's cracked off. But because we're doing it on the rocks, I'm just gonna grab some more ice. Let's get some fresh ice in there. Careful not to ruin your, your nice salty rim. There we go. And then we're just gonna strain that on top. Quite a light colour. There we are. And then just to garnish it, give it a nice 
I will. Just on that like that. And there we have it. A margarita. Okay, so let's give this a taste. Ooh, that's tequila. -y. Very limey. Um, good amount of salt on the side. A lot of people don't like, like I said, like some people don't want the salt. That's why sometimes they see it on just half the rim. Um, but for me, I, I don't mind it, but obviously I enjoy it. Mm. You get a bit of sweetness through from the, the Cointreau. Obviously a bit more citrusy with the orange, but yeah, very delicious. Such a classic. And um, like I said, on the, on the rocks, this, well this one's on the rocks, um, if you have it straight up, still you salt the rim, nice little lime for presentation, but make sure you use a tea strainer to catch those little pieces of ice, because when you're shaking it that hard, it, it, they crack and you don't want those little bits of floating in drinking. That's one of a nice, smooth cocktail. This one here though, that's fine, because you've always got the chunks of ice. Those like, little pieces of ice are gonna melt, and it's all gonna help dilute that drink. Mm. Well, wow, that's fantastic. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed watching that video. Um, give this one a go. I always say that with all my cocktails that I make on, the, on this channel. Um, take some pictures, send us videos of you making it as well, and um, we'll, we'll share and everything on our social media. We've got Facebook and Instagram. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers.